<laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? All right, we are coming to you guys from Boss Clan, and we had this thing that one of our really close people down here put together for us, and um, we wanted to read it to you because it makes a lot of sense to us about Passover and where we're at. All right, hit it. So, Exodus 12, 1 through 2. And Elohim said to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Mitzrayim, the, This month shall be to you the beginning of months, the first month of the year to you. Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 42, 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Exodus 12, 3 through 4. Tell all the congregation of Israel on the tenth day of the month. They shall take every man a lamb or kid according to the size of the family, of which he is the father, a lamb or kid for each house. And if the household is too small to consume the lamb, let him and his next door neighbor take it according to the number of persons. Every man according to what each can eat shall make for the count of the lamb. John 12, 12. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Yeshua was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that, came, that cometh in the name of Yahuwah. John 1, 29. When Yechonin saw Yeshua coming towards him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of Yahuwah who takes away the sin of the world. Hebrews 5, 14. This strong meat is for those that are mature, even those who by practice have their senses trained to discern. Exodus 12, 5. Your lamb or kid shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it from the sheep or the goats. Matthew 27, 4. I have sinned. Yahuda, Judas, said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. Luke 23, 4. Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. Luke 23, 4. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised Elohim, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. He who knew no sin was counted as sin in order that we might be the righteousness of Elohim. Exodus 12, 6. And you should keep it until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall each kill his lamb in the evening. Luke 23, 44-49. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness fell over the whole land to the ninth hour, because the sun was obscured, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And Yeshua, crying out with a loud voice, said, Abba, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had happened, he began praising Elohim, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the crowds who came together for this spectacle, when they observed what had happened, began to return, beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who were coming to him from Galilee were standing at a distance seeing these things. Exodus 12, 7. They shall take of the blood and put it in the two side posts and on the lintel above the door space of the houses in which they shall eat the Passover lamb. John 10, 7. So Yeshua said to them, Truly, truly I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. John 19, 34. One of the soldiers pierced Yeshua's side and blood and water flowed. John 19, 2. The soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Exodus 12, 8 through 9. They shall eat the flesh that night roasted with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor boil it all with water, but roasted it, its head, its legs, and its inner parts. Matthew 26, 26. And as they were eating, Yeshua took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Revelation 56, 7 through 9. The Lamb took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for Elohim persons from every tribe and language, people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom, and priests to serve our Elohim, and they will reign on the earth. Exodus 12.10 Do not leave any of it till morning. If some is left till morning, you must burn it. Matthew 27.57-61 As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Yeshua. 
Going to Pilate, he asked to reissue his body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. Ephesians 4, 9-10 through 10. Notice that it says he ascended. This clearly means that Christ also ascended into hell. And he who descended is himself, also he who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. Exodus 12, 11. And you shall lead it thus, as fully prepared for a journey. Your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Revelation 3, 11. I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, so that no one will take your crown. Ephesians 6, 14-16 Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Matthew 24, 44 Therefore you must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Matthew 26, 26-28 while they were eating, Yeshua took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Exodus 12:12. 12, 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 5, 9-10 For Elohim hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Exodus 12, 13 The blood shall be for a token, or sign to you upon the doorposts of the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Mizraim. 1 Peter 1, 18-19 for you know that Elohim paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your forefathers. The ransom was the precious blood of Hamashiach, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Exodus 12, 14. And this day shall be to you for a memorial. You shall keep it as a feast to, the, to Elohim throughout your generations. Keep it as an ordinance forever. 1 Corinthians 11, 26. Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the, Lord, the Adonai's death until he comes. Exodus 12, 15. In celebration of the Passover, seven days you eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off from Israel. Ma Matthew 21, 12. Yeshua entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Come out from among them and be separate, says says Yahuwah, touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. Exodus 12, 16. On the day you shall hold a sol solemn Shabbat, a holy assembly, and on the seventh day there shall be a sh solemn and holy Shabbat assembly. No kind of work shall be done in them. Save that which every person must eat, that only may be done by you. Hebrews 4, 9 through 11. There remains then a Shabbat rest for the people of Elohim, for anyone who enters Elohim's rest also rests from their works, just as Elohim did from his. Let us, therefore, make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. Exodus 12, 17. And you shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. For on this very day I have set you free from the land of Mizraim. Therefore you shall observe this day throughout your generations as an ordinance forever. John 8, 35-36. Now, a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son, son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Romans 8, 2. The law of spirit of life and, and Hamashiach Yeshua has set you free from the law of sin and death. Exodus 12, 18 through 20. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread and continue until the 21st day of the month at evening. Seven days you eat no leaven. The leaven shall be found in shall not be found in your houses. Whoever eats what is leaven shall be ex excluded from the congregation of Israel, whether a stranger or native born. You shall eat nothing leavened in all your dwellings. You shall eat unleavened bread during that week. First Corinthians five seven. 
Get rid of the old yeast, so that you may be a new unleavened batch, as you really are. For Hamashiach, our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. Exodus 12, 21-22. Then Moshe called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go and take for yourselves lambs according to your families, and slay the Passover lamb. You shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood which is in the basin, and apply some of the blood that is in the basin to the lintel and the two doorposts. And none of you shall go outside the door of his house until morning. Matthew 26, 28. For this is my blood, which, confirm, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. John 10, 7. Then Yeshua said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Exodus 12, 23. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Mitzrites, he will see it, the blood on the top and the sides of the door frame, and he will pass over that doorway, and he will not permit the destroyer to enter your house and strike you down. Revelation 9, 11. They had a king over them, the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek, Apollyon. Revelation 9, 3. And was given power like that of scorpions of the earth, and was told not to harm the grass of the earth, or, or any plant or tree, but only those people who do not have the seal of God on their forehead. Exodus 12, 24 through 27. Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants, whether you eat the land that the Yahuwah will give you as he promised. Observe the ceremony when your children shall say to you, What do you mean by this service? You shall say, It is the sacrifice of Yahuwah's Passover. When the blood of the lamb, as he passed over the houses of the Israelites in Mishraim, when he slew the Egyptians but spared us. Okay, <clears throat> get together, everyone. All right, so I'm going to cut this real quick. Everyone say goodbye. Right. We're going to come right back. We are back one second later. Okay, what did we just read there, guys? What What is, what, Caden, you were reading what? I was reading all through Exodus, so basically it was saying. You, you, were, you were reading the stuff from back in the days, the Passover, and people will say the Passover is for the old timers and the old time Jews. Things of that nature. But can somebody explain to me how this corresponds? Eli, don't fall asleep on me, please. Can someone see how this corresponds um, to our Messiah? How did this go down? How did our Messiah end up as a sacrificial lamb at the exact same time that we would be celebrating Passover? It was, Jade. It was Yahuwah's timing. He, be, he sent his son to become a sacrificial lamb for us, right? We don't have to sacrifice lamb anymore because he became the, the, uh, the unblemished lamb, so we always have forgiveness of sins. Do we need to still keep Passover? Do we need to take a lamb and do we need to eat the lamb? Yes, his sacrifice was not for not. It, he was sacrificed himself. Why? We, we should use his blood and use that to put on our doorpost. Why are we keeping these celebrations? Because it said for all generations is what, what we were commanded what did to it, What did it say? What did you guys just read? He said, for all generations shall enter into a solemn rest so that there will be no disobedience. Because the people will ask you, why do we keep these ceremonies? And the reason we keep these ceremonies is, is in remembrance of our lamb that we had and it is is can somebody lead lead us into some sort of a salvation from this yeshua can lead us into salvation let yeshua the lamb the ultimate lamb and there's only one name under heaven by which you may be saved what name is that gentlemen yeshua yeshua, yeshua. Hamashiach. yeshua Hamashiach. how does that prayer sound um, that you are praying to Yahuwah, you pray. how do you how do you pray to how do you how do you how does should this sound uh, father who art in heaven yeah, hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, right? That is what it should be. And inside of that prayer, you're going to, uh, you're going to pray, you're going to ask for forgiveness of your sins using the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. And there's only one name under heaven by which it may be saved. It's not Jesus. What is it? Yeshua. Yeshua. And what does Yeshua, what does Yahushua mean in Hebrew? Salvation. It means salvation in Spanish. All right, guys. Well, happy day. What day is today? It is a high Sabbath. Explain that to me. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing on High Sabbath? It's a feast day. What are your rules on a feast day? You do no work, but you can prepare food. You can prepare food. That's right. So it's basically sticking around, hanging out, becoming an amoeba, chilling, resting, and that thing. All right. Any advice for anyone out there? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Have a great day. Yeah. We're out. We are back. We're not letting this one slide. I, I got off the camera and everyone's like, well, you said Yeshua means salvation or in salvation in Spanish. In no, we, li we live in Spanish. Explain this to me. What did I mean, boys? It means salvation. It means Hebrew. salvation in Hebrew. In right? Hebrew, so in Hebrew, and was Yeshua? Was he a Spanish man? No. Was he a Greek man? No. no. Was he a Hebrew? Yes. No. So would he heard the name Jesus? No. What about ISIS? What no. do you think? Nope. So probably Yahushua. All right, I'm getting old, guys. Thanks for correcting me. I'm out.